Exploratory research is research that explores topics that haven't been explored or lack the necessary foundational scholarly literature for large-scale research studies. Here's a scholarly definition. Exploratory research is defined as research used to investigate an issue that is new, a problem which is not clearly defined, or a topic on which there is little data. So, why do researchers conduct exploratory studies? Here are two reasons to conduct exploratory research. Firstly, exploratory studies help to establish baseline data. Oftentimes, an exploratory study helps in establishing a clearer understanding of a topic and gives subsequent projects the chance to dig deeper now that they have some baseline data. The exploratory study might, for example, describe and define a phenomenon so that future studies will have clear and agreed upon understandings of the topic under analysis. Secondly, exploratory studies help to establish the feasibility of a larger scale study. Take, for example, researchers who want to receive a multi-million dollar grant to study a topic. These researchers might first conduct a small and inexpensive exploratory study. Then, they would use their exploratory studies results to approach funding bodies. With the exploratory study complete, they will be armed with more data about the topic and informed evidence about the best way to approach it. Now, let's look at some research methods and designs that are commonly used in exploratory research. There is no one clear set of methods that must be used in exploratory design. A researcher should select the approaches that would be most effective in meeting your research questions. However, commonly, exploratory studies are shaped as small-scale qualitative designs. Qualitative research allows researchers to delve deep into a topic to generate high-quality, contextualized and nuanced descriptive data. One common method is the use of expert focus group interviews, known as the Delphi method. Researchers can speak to professionals or experts to gain their perspectives on the topic. This perspective taking can help researchers to better understand the key factors within a topic that will inform subsequent study designs. In my article in the pinned comment, I present a range of additional research designs that are commonly used in exploratory studies. All right, now let's look at the pros and cons of exploratory research. The first pro is that it provides initial insights into a new or unclear topic. This helps to expand our knowledge horizons and develop the foundations for future studies. Secondly, exploratory studies help in identifying potential problems that deserve more attention. Without exploratory studies, a lot of social, environmental and scientific issues will be understudies and unexplored. We need exploratory researchers because they help us to identify problems worthy of analysis. Now let's look at some limitations of exploratory research. The first one is that exploratory studies are not conclusive. The data they find is tentative and requires further research for validation or digging deeper into the topic. We don't do exploratory research to solve problems. We do it to find problems. Secondly, exploratory data tends to be qualitative. While qualitative data has some great benefits, one of its downsides is that it rarely has the statistical significance to create generalizable results. So, most exploratory studies won't be able to make broad claims that are applicable outside of the context of the specific research study. And with that in mind, it's really worth knowing the strengths and weaknesses of qualitative research. I've left a video on screen now for you to dig into that topic, and again, my full guides on exploratory research with academic sources are in the pinned comment.